Why does Facebook want people to spend more time on your website? And why are Facebook dark posts the best way to get your message out on the platform? If you woke up with those two specific questions this morning, I, I can't even tell you how perfect this show is going to be for you. We're all familiar with the buzzworthy upfeed clickbait. Oh man, you gotta click on this link because it'll blow your mind. You're not gonna believe what happens at the two minute mark. I hate those. I hate the way they work and Facebook's gonna do something about it. But the way they're doing it's super interesting. So they're not just looking at the types of websites that are posting these links and they're not just looking at the language. They're actually looking at how much time people spend once they click on these links. So if people click on the link and come right back to Facebook, well, it must not have been very interesting. But if they click on it and spend a few minutes on that website, well, there must have been something of value there or something really interesting or the person just got tricked into reading the whole thing, which is pretty much probably what's going to happen because these clickbait people never give up. They are always find a way and I'm too, too angry about it. I need to calm down. But it's interesting because why would Facebook want you to spend more time off of Facebook? That's not how any website in the world works. Well, there's two reasons that I think they might be wanting to do this. One is that the more interesting stuff you find on Facebook, the more you're going to go to Facebook to find interesting stuff. And the more Facebook is going to be your starting point to find things online. The second reason might have something to do with a little advertising startup that Facebook bought for $50 million off of Microsoft last year. Facebook's about to compete with Google's AdWords and the more that they know about the internet, the better they can sell ads. Once they can identify these websites and partner with them first, well then who cares how much time you spend on them because as long as they have Facebook ads, revenue wise to them, you're basically still on Facebook. This is a horror story. Now, in the last episode, I promised that I would talk about Facebook dark posts. The, this, this thing called Facebook dark posts. Don't Google that. Wait for the next episode of the, of the episode. Ah, oh, look at me. I was so young. Facebook dark posts are basically posts that you can publish as a page that don't publish onto your page. The only thing you'll need is Google Chrome. That's how you'll run the Facebook Power Editor, which is a super powerful tool to specifically target ads, to see how ads will look on mobile, on desktop, and generally to buy advertising on Facebook. And to select audiences based on super specific criteria like when they last traveled, what mobile phone they use, what they're interested in, or whatever combo you want like 30 year old men in Vancouver who use Blackberry curves, speak Cantonese, and intend to travel to Australia soon. I did try that combination in the Facebook Power Editor and it said there are fewer than a thousand people. There's probably like three if that, but you will definitely reach those three people. Tips. Let's say you have a restaurant and you want to promote a special in a specific neighborhood. Unpublished posts would let you do a separate ad for each group. Say you want to post something but you don't know what photo or words or combination of the two would work best. Maybe you do one post with one photo, one post with another, see which one does better and then buy more ads on the one that does better. Now I googled how to do this and most of the instructions online were from a couple years ago. So I've typed up instructions on how to do this today in 2014 and put that on the Point Blank blog. God, I was so young. I was so young. If only I knew what I knew now. God, I was so young. Ah, oh, look at me. I was so young. If only I knew then what I knew now. If only I knew that. I'm not doing a second take of that. That was perfect.